I have a real artist in the studio today who's going to teach me, a fake artist, how to carve a pumpkin. This is Willie, but who doesn't know Willie here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I call it. Thank so you what are we going to do today? We're going to try to carve a pumpkin. Okay. Um, and then at the end of the show, we show yes. the audience how, um, how we uh, start from uh, the beginning to the end. Of course. Now, of you already. can see this is just a basic pumpkin. There's nothing on there, no cheating. This is all going to be done yes. within... 20 minutes. Willie's so fast. It's ridiculous. And no matter what mistakes I make, he's going to correct it so it looks really nice for you guys <laughs> at the end. Alright, so how do I start? So there's a couple of things. One of the things that we do first, depending okay. on what design we do in this, ca this case, we're going to peel the pumpkin. Okay. So you can go with that one. Do I, should Just I pick a everything. certain side? You do want to, like for instance, you want, if you're creating something really cool, like you want the nice that nice yes, extended that, so side. Yes, so you have more room to work on. Okay, and I so just start peeling. So we take all peeling. the, yep, we take all the, um, <laughs> the skin off. <laughs> and it's nice. The more messy, the better, actually. It just okay. It gives you that. So just go around, <laughs> take, take uh, in the area where you're going to work on. This is really, I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it so to us, when well, we carve this uh, every year, this year we find to carve close to 3,000 pumpkins. Wow. This whole month. So we go crazy. We just... <laughs> I think, no. I, just, I think I just <laughs> ate some. <laughs> Pumpkin tastes really good. But one of the other things we do, we are a fruit design uh, company here in Grand Junction. Okay, that's we do, right. Uh, we do the fruit bouquets, we do uh, chocolate fruit. We customize carvings to go with pretty much any gifts, <laughs> any, any celebration. You know Is how this fun? doing good? That's, yep, yep. So take yeah. all this part. Take it all. So Look at how much faster crazy. he goes. <laughs> I'm like all yeah. like taking my time. Well, that was kind of fast. That was kind of fast. Yes. <laughs> so Willie, when someone's carving a pumpkin just at home and they don't have these kind of tools, what do you recommend? Just a nice this simple? Actually, these actually are very easy to find. Yeah. Um, you can get it at any any store. It's a clay tool. That's a what you're looking tool. for. Yep. So all I did is reinforce it a little bit because pumpkin's a little bit hotter than clay. Right. But you can do that and then it works perfectly. You can see us here, she already have all the skin <laughs> out. And then we'll start designing the, the um, stuff. Of course. Now we're going to design a one. <laughs> I keep hitting myself in the face. We're going to design a one-eyed pumpkin today, but you have the chance to catch Willie in action at a few different events that are coming up. What are those, Willie? I know there's one at we Moon have, Farm. Yeah, it will be this Saturday, Moon Farm from uh, noon to 3 p.m. You'll see us carve. We're putting a whole nice design there. Uh, you can watch us carve live. Um, if you guys have any questions about how to preserve your pumpkins, we can help with that as well. Um, we'll be at the Botanical Garden here yes. locally. I will be carving on the 13th and also the Mesa Mall is putting a, in a free event that's called Boo and Brew. Uh -huh. We'll also be carving live and something different that we're creating. You guys gotta go check it out. Gotcha! So some of the stuff that we do as well, we put it on our website. Uh, you can check it out. Some of the, we do a lot of events. We go out of town. We're leaving the 13th to go to Denver for two weeks. Right. We're gonna carve a bunch of pumpkins up there. So Those are always really exciting. It'll be a Willie's fun, done some really fun intense stuff. stuff. Some night, some full-fledged, Real life size. Now, Willie, I did notice we didn't hollow this pumpkin. No, <laughs> oh my no. goodness. I'm and then at the end, we'll show you what. Um, Why what we don't gonna hollow? Create. Yes. Now, is this. So do I need to take off more? Nope. So take a little bit more here and then take we're going to Take a little start more here. The face okay. On it for you. <laughs> but as you can see, we create uh, logos on pumpkin. And here is the one that I've been uh, working on as well. Look at that. That is a Dia de los Muertos skull. Um, and it's beautiful. That flower is just so precise. All right, so I think I did a pretty, pretty decent job, right? Yep. yep. Got some pumpkin so now in my we can, hair. We can design the eyes to start All right. with. So I'll just start by doing the. So Willie's taking a little tool and kind of etching out the eye shape here. I have pumpkin in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> and we have some pumpkin on the screen behind us now. That's how yeah, you know we've been having a good time. It's fall and pumpkin season. Right, exactly. <laughs> now, as you guys are probably aware, I'm not as great at this as Willie is. So what he's doing right now is he's adding in those details, those real precise pumpkin skills that really make these pumpkins come to life, like the ones in front of us. I love the KREX one and the Dia de los Muertos. Thank you so much for bringing us in. It is my in. pleasure. Thank you. But so Willie is actually going to be hard at work while we continue on throughout the show. And at the end of the show, stay tuned because he's going to show you how he turned my kind of messy art 
into a real work of pumpkin art. Thank you so much, Willie. So we'll be right to, back. Thanks for having us.